This morning, we are taking a look at some voting terms like mail-in, absentee, and early voting. Right now, we have Mandy Knoll joining us in our studio to tell us more about how the coronavirus is changing Arkansas's elections this year. Mandy, what can we expect? So we all know the election is not going to be the same. It's not going to look the same this November. Or we're not going to be voting the same for in many cases. We're in the middle of a pandemic. That's why election coordinators know this too. Things are changing. Arkansas Secretary of State John Thurston made it official COVID-19 is a reasonable excuse for someone to get an absentee ballot. If you do plan to vote in person, poll workers are going to be enforcing social distancing, cleaning and sanitizing everything. They're also expecting to handle a record number of absentee ballots. So it'll be all hands on deck for election officials. Political scientists at the U of A point out the differences between the mail-in voting you're hearing about on a national level and what's happening here in Arkansas. If you're registered in some states, you'll automatically get a ballot. On the other end is what we've traditionally had in Arkansas, absentee ballot where you needed some sort of reason or excuse. So let's talk about the big question, the difference between mail-in voting and absentee voting. Experts say universal mail-in voting is when registered voters get an incomplete ballot in the mail. Absentee voting is when registered voters request a ballot and fill out the proper forms. Some states even send applications to voters who want to vote absentee. Those are processed as soon as they come in. To stop fraud, states that send either mail-in or absentee ballots require checks. Officials verify addresses, registration status, death records, and signatures for accuracy. Suzanne. All right, Mandy, thanks. Let's get to some more local news that matters. A 93-year-old Little Rock man is dead after a late-night house fire. Roland Richardson was found dead inside of a home on Old Forge. His wife was treated for smoke inhalation. Fire officials say the fire does not appear to be suspicious. Little Rock police are looking for a man accused of shooting at a car after a botched robbery. 17-year-old Tavian Bynum allegedly tried to rob two people back in April. Police say they sped away, and that's when Bynum shot their car twice. If you know where he might be, call police. In North Little Rock, officers released the identities of the victims in a double homicide. 57-year-old Daryl Momfrey and 40-year-old Derek Allen were both found inside an SUV in Little Rock back in April. Police haven't said how the men died. They also have not released any suspect information. Investigators need your help with the case. Fort Smith Police, they're investigating the drowning of a five-year-old. That child was playing around a pool when they fell in. The child was found 10 minutes later. Officials believe this was an accident.